Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a hat out of salt dough and salt dough. I am, I wrote something on the bottom because I'm going to give it to my teacher because the school is almost going to end. So let's see how to make the salt dough. Three. You will need any type of flour, salt, and water. You'll need two and a half, one and a half tablespoons of flour and um, three fourths, three fourths tablespoon of salt and any measurement of water because we'll put it in and then we'll mix it and then put it in again and mix it again. So let's see. You first need to put in all the salt. And mix it with your hands. But you can also use a spoon or a mixing tool if you want. Then if you want, you can make a small hole and put just a bit of water. And then you mix it like this. It'll stick on your hands, but that's okay. And then you put a bit more in and then mix it again. And then you keep on doing that with the water until it feels like the one I just showed you. Yeah. Okay, so now it has got this texture and now you don't have to do it in the bowl. And if you want, you can knead it on the counter. So if you want it to get soft, if it gets soft, it'll be easier to make. You dip a bit of it in water and then knead it. And then do that again and again until how soft you want it to be. Okay, so I moved to my workstation because before I was in the kitchen. And now I want, now this is the texture you want it to be. So let me show you how to make the hat shape. So you will need a newspaper or a rough paper, some paints, your salt dough, some paint brushes, and a knife or a craft knife. If you don't know how to use it, then ask an adult or, some, or someone else to help you. But I know how to use it. So this is how you make your hat shape. You first roll the, the dough into a ball. Oh, and you'll also need some water. This is, it doesn't matter if it's dirty. It's dirty water, so wait, I'll, I'll get some new water. Silly me, I forgot to get the water. I got dirty water. I got new water now. You also need water. You, so you roll into the ball, and then you put it on your paper, newspaper, and you push it down, and then push it, on the end of like out of it so it might stick so then you can do this and then roll it back again I made a mistake and I pushed it too hard so don't make that mistake then you need to push it like this and then don't push it that hard when it comes down and put put it off of your paper regularly so that it doesn't stick and then you do it all around it needs to be a bit bigger because we're gonna cut it off because it's 
now here on the side it looks like dirty and all. Oops, oops. If it gets bad, you could just stick it back on and then push it down. Okay, so now I'm done with the base of my hat. Here comes the deer knife. You can ask a parent or someone else to help you with this part if you don't know how. You'll need to cut the sides off because they look dirty right now. You'll need to make them cleaner. So now I'm done with cutting it off. You'll need to bring your water now. You'll need to dip your finger in the water and then smooth it off on this part because you see it looks like wrinkly right now. Don't push this part very hard because then it'll look like you pushed it really hard and then it'll not look that good. Okay, so now I'm done with doing it all around that middle part. So now you flip it over and get your knife again. If you don't know how to do it, get someone to help you. And you push the knife down in the middle and look that it's not on the side. It's only coming in the middle part here. And then you cut a small circle. If you don't want to do this part, that's okay. And then you'll take out the extra dough inside of the hole. Right now it looks messy inside. And then you'll need to do like this. Right now it looks messy inside, so now we will we will fix that. You need to put your thumb, both of your thumbs, in the water. And then you need to get it and then do like this and then put both of your thumbs inside of the hole and rotate it around like this. If you also want, you could put one of your thumbs in. Okay. So now, you will need to put it in the oven for, um, wait one minute, let me ask how much how much time and which, how much degrees you'll need to put it. My mom will say how much because I don't know how much degrees. Hello everyone, this is Sarah's mom. Uh, you need to ask any adult to preheat the oven at 185 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. Uh, put it in the oven after it has been preheated first for 10 minutes. Then ask the adult to turn it around and again for five minutes. Thank you. Okay, so while my mom is doing that, I'll tell you some tips what you can use it for. Like me, I'm gonna give it to my teacher because it's almost summer break. And you can also use it as a paperweight or just as a decoration. Okay, so you'll see you'll have some extra dough left over. You can use this as maybe you can make a small flower like this and stick it on before you put it in the oven. But I painted it on. If you want to do that, you can also do that. You can also make some decorations on it before you put it in the oven if you want. 
just keep an eye on it when it is baking because it might get black on the side like this and it might take longer or shorter to bake. Okay, so now it is done. Now it's really hot, so don't touch it. And you'll need to make it cool for five minutes. Let it sit for five minutes. Five. But if it is still hot when it five minutes is done, you can let it sit for one more minute. Okay, so now it is cooled down. Now we can get our paint brush and our paints. And I forgot to say, you'll also need a plate or a paint palette. Uh, you'll need to put your paints um, only the if you're using the the this part only that part you put in the paint palette because for the flower we will need just a little bit of paint so we'll use the dinner paint brush and you just put one drop and then you take the paint and then you paint it on like a stripe and if you put a flower on before baking it then you stop um, painting it where the flower is if you didn't stop painting it in a little gap Maybe um, this much gap. Okay, so put your water, put your brush, dip it in the water and swirl it around in the same water which you used to make it like this. And then you take yellow for the middle of the flower and you dip it you dip your thin brush inside of it like this yes and then you make a small dot in the gap if you're not if you didn't put some a bit a flour before you baked it, and then you put it, dip it in the water, and then um, you can brush the brush on the workstation like that if you want. And then you take whichever color you want the petals to be. I want it to be blue, and then you dip it in there the same way as you did with the yellow. And then you make small semicircles around the the um the yellow circle. And if you don't have that much paint on your paint brush, then you dip it in it again and if you want if the yellow part has gotten hidden with the petals after it dries you can do it again if you want Take two one so now it is done. If you want, you can write something on the bottom if you're giving it to someone. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. Bye.